Look, I've made no secret about it. While I love all three primary guys who've played our live action Spider-Man, you know, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland's doing great. My favorite has been Andrew Garfield. Uh, not necessarily because I think he's had the best live action Spider-Man movies. I mean, the best live action Spider-Man movie is still Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 2. I, I think that's easily kind of the best live action Spider-Man movie. But nonetheless, I really, really loved all three of them. But in particular... Andrew Garfield. And that was really just kind of cemented even more when he came back for Spider-Man No Way Home. I mean, all three of our Spider-Men were great in that, but it was really great seeing Andrew Garfield. And of course, who didn't love that great moment of catharsis when Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man was able to save MJ from falling as a hearkening back and a full circle moment for when he wasn't able to save Gwen Stacy. Which, by the way, even in a mediocre movie at best the amazing spider-man 2 was an amazing comic book movie moment that the death of gwen stacy in that movie was so powerful and so moving uh, that being said you guys may have seen a couple of headlines going around like like these ones here that there's a story going around right now that kevin feige has reached out to andrew garfield to appear again as spider-man in avengers secret wars uh, that's the story going around. And uh, clearly, a lot of people will get kind of excited about that because there are people like me, imagine that. There are some people like me out there who really love Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Now, there, the reasons for doing it are clear. It was a really big popular thing that happened in Spider-Man No Way Home. Clearly, it got a big audience reaction. The box office certainly justified it, making almost $2 billion. It made like one9 something and change billion dollars the box office, almost making it a member of that super elite exclusive $2 billion club. So obviously the fans liked it, the fans reacted to it, and so now this story's going out there. Now, I got a text this morning from somebody who shall remain nameless that was simply a link to one of those stories saying that Kevin Feige has reached out to Andrew Garfield to be in Avenger Secret Wars. There was a link to that, that was the text message. And then the next text message was FYI, 100% false. So I can tell you that no, Kevin Feige has not reached out to Andrew Garfield to be in Avengers Secret Wars. Uh, by the way, I'm not saying that any of these outlets that are reporting it are lying. Not at all. I'm absolutely 100% sure that they did hear that from somebody. I'm 100% sure they're only reporting what they actually heard. But I... I'm pretty confident in telling you that it is not true. <laughs> so from the text messages I received today. However, I do want to point something out, though. That doesn't necessarily mean that it might not be a good idea. It also doesn't necessarily mean that it can't actually happen. Like, just because Kevin Feige has not at this point actually reached out to Andrew Garfield to say, come and be in Avengers Secret Wars. That doesn't mean this movie, which is years away, can't ultimately actually have Andrew Garfield in it. Now, I, I question whether it's a good idea. But John, you just said you're a huge fan of Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. I absolutely am, 100%. But when you think about everything that's going to be going on in Avengers Secret Wars, <coughs> you bring Andrew Garfield as one of the Spider-Mans back again, then it's not an Avengers Secret Wars movie. Now it's a Spider-Man movie. Unless you're just going to have him pop up for two minutes to go, hey, everybody, and in which case that would be kind of useless and pointless. So while I'm a huge fan of Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, and I 100% admit I am definitely intrigued about the idea of him appearing in Avengers Secret Wars, uh, I can tell you that it's, number one, it's not true as of right now, at least at any rate. And, and I actually don't know that it would be a good idea because it would completely change what that story is and what the movie would be about. And on the other hand, maybe it's just him doing a quick cameo, in which case I, I'm going to find that kind of pretty disappointing, to be honest with you. But I don't know. Maybe you feel different. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before 
before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. The question is for you guys. How would you feel, in theory, about Andrew Garfield appearing again as Spider-Man, his Peter Parker, in Avengers Secret Wars? Do you think it would take away from the overall story? Do you think it would be a real waste just to have him come in for two minutes and disappear? Maybe you just love the idea of him in there so much you're totally good with the idea of a 30-second appearance, gone, whatever, we got our shot of Andrew Garfield. Maybe there's a possibility of Andrew Garfield reprising his Spider-Man movies for Sony. Highly unlikely, but, I mean, hey, can't we all dream? Whatever you guys think about all this, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Make sure you like and subscribe, but also we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast available on your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and find it, the John Campia Show Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your preferred podcasting app.